Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how to draft your own low cut or plunging neckline pattern. Okay so for this I'm going to be using the close fitting block which I'll link below but you can use whichever uh, bodice block you have. So to start you're going to want to trace out your block and mark in all of your information. Now you're going to choose where on your side seam that you're going to put a new dart. So try not to do it too close to the armhole or too close to the waistline. A nice kind of in between is perfect. So once you've chosen the spot, you're going to mark that in and then join it um, with your exist the end of your existing dart. So now you're going to go ahead and you're going to close the old dart and that's going to open the new dart. So to do that, you're going to want to cut up that line from your new dart. So go ahead now and fold over your old dart towards um, the centre front line and then just hold that in place with some sellotape. So using a measuring tape you're going to want to choose the length of your neckline. So I went with 40 centimetres. So starting from the top of your shoulder you're going to measure it down the centre front line and then mark that point in. So then go ahead with a ruler and draw in your new neckline. So joining it from the top of the shoulder to your new line that you've picked on the centre front. Okay, so now you're going to need to add a small dart into the neckline. So draw a line up from your new dart and then measure it out by 0.6 centimetres. This dart is just going to shape the neckline so it sits nicely against the body. So once you've it drawn, go ahead and cut it out and then you're just going to close it over and stick it with some tape and this will actually widen that side seam dart again. So if you notice there, the neckline is completely off. So just go back in with a ruler and draw a nice straight line. So next you're going to need to trace out the new pattern onto a clean sheet of paper. So at the dart point you're going to want to reduce the length by 2 centimeters, and then join this new point to the dart opening at the side seams. So once you're finished tracing everything around, mark in all your information so you know what size and what pattern this is. And then that's your pattern finished. So you could go ahead then and you could copy it into a solid block if you wanted to keep it for later uh, to use multiple times. Um, or just go ahead and add your one centimeter seam allowance and go straight into making yourself a nice plunging neckline top. So that is the end of this video. I really hope you found it helpful and if you did, please hit that like button and share this video with anyone who you know might be interested in pattern cutting. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.